So we, um, we said we weren't going to do a recap anymore, but today's recap will actually be um, a presentation of uh, the homework that uh, people were asked to do last week in their study questions. And uh, the homework was really talking about or on the topic of being grafted into Abraham. And some people will uh, share shortly. So it was a number of scriptures, Galatians 3, 7 to 9 and 29. In fact, the handout is actually in uh, on, on the website uh, under the study uh, resources, so I won't go through all of it. You can actually look at the, the study questions yourself and come up with your own version of this, but um, we'll have a few people sharing. I think we might start. Ryan, do you want to start? It's yours. Can you come up there? If you want to, or you can say from there. It's up to you. Okay. I'll go from here. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the readings are from Galatians 3, 7, uh, chapter 3, verse 7 and 9, 29, um, Galatians 3, 14, Romans 4, 16, 18, Romans 9, 7 to 8. So, what I got from all of that, the relationship between these verses and the characters in the verses that it's talking about, the main crux of it is faith and, oh, I can't even read one of that. It's faith over nationalism. So it's not just saying your birthright grants you connection to Hashem, connection to God. It's your faith in action. So believing what you do, it's not, I think, therefore I am. I do, therefore I believe, yeah. therefore I am. Um, the concept of the righteous one who connects us to God is very prevalent. So our father Abraham, if you know Abraham, he is like, Atzadi, he's a pathway, he grafts us into Hashem, so does Yeshua. They're both Hasidic characters, really, that's how I'm viewing it. Mm. And, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I got. Um, it just reminded me now, during that prayer we're doing, Yeshua says, abide in me and I in the Father. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point, we're grafted into the Father through these people. It's, yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Any other volunteers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, because I had to review uh, uh, condensed to nine lines, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and keep it to that. Anyway, as I've written, resurrection, our inheritance, happens only within, within the promised land and being grafted, blessed into the family of Jacob and oh. Israel. Mm -hmm. Abraham made sure he purchased the land for Sarah and himself. Jacob and Joseph all knew this well. They knew this as well, making sure their bones were in the land, <coughs> ensuring they would receive their inheritance to be resurrected into the promise. Mm. But this promise for the descendants as well as the nations could not have happened or be fulfilled until an heir to the promise from Hashem could be appointed. And we look at and we could read look up uh, John five twenty two to twenty three. That would be some insight. The gathering of the exiles, descendants and those grafted in, can only be accomplished by Hashem through his heir. Trusting in the resurrection of his heir, Yeshua, and his appointment as high priest. Adonai says, he who gathers Israel's exiles, he who gathers Israel's exiles, there are yet others I will gather besides those gathered already. And some other scripture, That's, that was Isaiah and that's part of... 56, uh, between 4 and 8, that was the first 8 that I quoted. And Mark 13, 27, there's another cross-reference. Right. That it goes Excellent. over my line, nine lines. <laughs> How small was the writing? <laughs> 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 I squeezed it in nine lines. <laughs> like that. Good. He looked outside the box, he said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> So but that's good. Very, I hope that wasn't too hard to follow. No, no, no. thank you. Okay. If you want to read it, it's there. Oh, yeah, thank you. cool. Great. I have to say it again, I missed all. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch the uh, video online. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be happy if you um, want me to publish that and add it in as um, as some notes. So just let me know. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thanks. Jenny. Okay. God has one purpose for mankind, to restore a people to himself through his Messiah. He chose a man, Abraham, and then a nation, Israel, from which would come the Messiah and Redeemer for the world. God promised Abraham that his seed would inherit the land of Israel, 
that all the families of the earth would be grafted in and be blessed. Yeshua is the promised seed of Abraham. Only through trusting Yeshua can people truly receive the full blessings promised to Abraham. Uh, resurrection and eternal life is the fulfillment of the blessing promised to Abraham. Uh, Yeshua brought these blessings first to the Jews and also to the Gentiles. The Jews are God's firstborn and were chosen amongst the merit because of the merits of their patriarch, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Despite their current unbelief, God will restore the Jewish people to himself on account of his promise to Abraham. Gentile believers who abide in Yeshua are Abraham's children by faith. We are grafted into the nation of Israel, brought near to God, and are co-heirs to the inheritance promised to Abraham. Yay! Right. 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 Yeah, I, I don't have to do anything today. I think you guys <laughs> covered it all up nicely. I just had one. It's probably completely left field and probably not even involved in it, but my mind went to some to a reflection I was doing during the week, and it was just um, the fact that it's through these righteous men, like Messiah types, that, that we are grafted into Messiah at the end of the day. And it, then my mind just went into the whole thing, and I think I just mentioned it to you, of Shema, you know, here are Israel, the Lord is, is one. And this oneness, this DNA of God that says, I have no, you know, I want everyone to be grafted into this lineage, you know, and the confession that when you say that prayer, I think it's in God's DNA, and he brings it right through to Father Abraham, who then brings it through to Messiah, who brings it through to us. Yeah, um, that's yeah, the obedience. Yeah. yeah. And it's this constant confession and constant reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my uh, dot points, five yeah, minutes of thinking. Good. So yeah, I'm good. sorry. And then that's okay. That's yeah. why I want to buy you dot points. And <laughs> I don't write essays. Um, just Abraham was the first to believe, have faith in God's promise to him. Uh, next dot point, the lineage went through the seed of promise, Isaac, not the natural seed. So... I, mm. I guess you should. Yes. Um, the promise to Abraham included all nations foreseeing the future. Uh, the essence of Galatians 3 to 29 is that our faith in Yeshua makes us uh, Abraham's seed. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. That's, that's my thinking. It's true, yeah.